there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now. When it comes to marine audio, dealers are really specific and sometimes picky with the partners that they choose to be the equipment that they're going to be installing in their next marine audio job. Well, I'll tell you, Diamond Audio has come to the plate with a huge selection of wake speakers as well as amplifiers and yes, even DSP. And we're going to learn about all those goodies today right here on Connected. This is CMA Connected presented by Sirius XM, Diamond Marine Audio. And it starts now. Welcome to another CMA Connected, everybody, presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu, and we are trekking through marine audio territory right now, and we've landed on Diamond Audio. You know, a lot of us remember Diamond Audio from back in the day, you know, car audio at heart. But, you know, times have changed. Many brands have expanded, and certainly for Diamond Audio, they've expanded into a multitude of different categories, and marine audio is certainly something they take very seriously. So we're going to dive in deep. We've got two incredible guests that are joining us today. Um, one in Dave McLean, who's the 12-volt category leader for Dix Performance, who is the Diamond Audio distributor here in Canada. And of course, we've reached out to their uh, national trainer in Brian Piper from Diamond Audio. Both will be joining us today. I'm going to start with Dave. You know, Dave, you guys have really put yourselves behind the brand, getting the information out there. We saw you at CMA Expo in Toronto with a full spread of Diamond Audio gear. And here we are, we're talking specifically about Marine Audio. I guess the first question I have for you, Dave, is why should dealers consider Diamond Audio as a serious product partner when it comes to serving Marine Audio customers? Great question, Ben. Diamond has almost 30 years of audio know-how under their belts. And when they stepped into the Marine Audio category, they knew what customers were listening for. They have a complete offering of marine equipment, meeting the budgets of every audio enthusiast. Everything from Bluetooth head units, DSPs, speakers, and waterproof amplifiers, to custom grills, RGB lighting, tower pods, and free air subwoofers, making for a very well-rounded lineup. This offers outstanding value to the consumer working with a Diamond Audio dealer. It's no joke when it comes to lineup. I remember seeing the spread that you had a product. I, don't, I even remember getting Brian on for the first time, kind of getting reacquainted with the brand that I was very impressed with the catalog. And I think I agree with you, Dave. Dealers will be surprised as to just how deep that offering is. And now, obviously, unfortunately, in the show, we're not going through the entire catalog, but we do have a couple key products I'm going to drill in on. So I think it's a perfect time. I want to go to Brian on this one. Brian, you know, when we talk about the extensive lineup, we have to start when it comes to marine audio with some of the most obvious pieces. And I think an obvious piece is going to be the tower can speaker. So can you give us a little bit of a, uh, an overview on what that's about and why the, the tower can speakers are so popular from diamond audio? Yeah, I think uh, what we've done with our new tower speakers are our pods. They incorporate our newest version of our, our HXM, 65F4 and 8F4 and now 10F4, which is our our flush tweeter waterproof speakers. These are full IP65 rated marine speakers. Um, they have a very unique feature on these tower pods that we have available now. This one here is our new 10 inch tower pod. The very cool thing about this, when you look at the back of it, it's got a four inch passive radiator on the back side of this tower pod to help with the bottom end of the speaker. It doesn't really give it a lot more bass, but it gives it a fuller, richer sound when you're playing these things at high volume. Uh, helps just kind of improve the overall sound quality of the, the pod itself. Wow, I got to say, that is a monster beast of a tower can speaker if I've ever seen one. I mean, unless your head is like, you know, six inches tall, that thing looks jimongous. Now, 
I, I know that these things are popular because they're loaded with special features and benefits. I want to give you that opportunity to kind of point out some of these features and benefits that really make these particular speakers stand out. So, like I said, one of the great things is that these are a fully waterproof speaker. Um, it, it's a little tough to see, but if you look down inside there, there's an actual bladder that seals to the pole piece for the tweeter. So the front of this speaker is completely sealed from the back side of it. Some of the other features that we have is this has a flat mount capability. It also has uh, various rings that come with the, the pole mount style. It includes two rings, uh, a one and a quarter inch and a two and a quarter or two and a half inch, sorry, uh, ring mount that goes on an attachment that graphs on here. The great thing with that is that allows this to be a full 360 mountable speaker. So it doesn't have to, you know, if you've got a curve in, in a pole or something and you mount in that area, it doesn't have to sit off center. You can make it face any direction you want. Uh, we also include these great gaskets. So if you're doing a flat mount, there's a gasket on here. So when you mount to aluminum, with this stainless steel, you're not going to create any corrosion or galling effect with that mount. It just keeps it completely isolated. Uh, will also help prevent uh, chattering wh when the boat is moving. The same thing is available in a little rubber gasket that goes inside these, these uh, ring mounts as well. Um, again, the passive radiator on the back of these uh, these do have RGB lighting. It's, it's actually not RGB lighting. It is a digital LED control. So you have uh, power ground and a data signal, but it's all built into the wiring cable for each speaker. So you're not running multiple runs of wire. You run one cable from the pod down to wherever you're making your connections on these. Uh, so these are available in a six and a half, an eight and a 10. The big thing with the 10 is that it does not have the traditional one inch tweeter. These have a waterproof compression tweeter in them that these are available in white and black pods. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. Those are very exciting can speakers, especially the fact that you guys seem to have thought about just about everything from an installer standpoint. And I think that's something to certainly take note of, especially for our dealers that are tuning in. Now, from, from the speaker side of things, we've got to take some time to jump into the amplification side of things. And there's a series there from Diamond called the DXM series. My question to you, Brian, uh, if, when it comes to these amplifiers, they've been designed in a certain way. Why do you feel that they are ideal for system building in a marine environment? So the DXM series of amplifiers, like the one I have here, the great thing about them is they are a relatively compact series of amplifiers. But what really makes them ideal for marine is if you see these pigtails on here that I'm holding this amp up with, when you look at the sides of the amp, they are completely sealed. This amp is as waterproof as you make these connections. So if, if you take this amplifier, drop it in water, powered up, up to this point, it's waterproof. It will play, it will take the water, does not affect it. So when we talk about how to install these amplifiers, we tell everybody to make sure you're using a, a sealed uh, heat shrink tubing. So when you when you make your connections here, you, you seal those. Same thing with the RCAs on the other end, plug everything in and make sure that the connection is sealed. So it's as watertight as you can make it, then you've got an amplifier that is pretty much indestructible once it's in the boat and on the water. It can take any kind of amount of water. You could pretty much sink this thing and it would still be functional. So we have these available in uh, four different options. Uh, as you will see in the slide here, we have a two channel, a four channel, a monoblock, and a six channel. Uh, all perform the same way. They all have the same waterproof capabilities and provide amazing power for our marine speakers and our tower pods. Thanks for that breakout of those amplifiers. But, you know, Brian, if I'm going to have you here, we're going to dive a little bit deeper because, you know, a couple months back, maybe a year ago, you dropped a bomb here on CMA. And that was the introduction of DSP into these multi-channel amplifiers and small footprint amplifiers, such as what you were showing there. Um, I've had a lot of questions about that. Uh, you know, DSP in the marine environment absolutely is intriguing for many. Um, we've had the opportunity to kind of discuss it. I want to give you that opportunity to explain 
to dealers who are tuning in, A, what is the offering that you have with DSP and amplification? But more importantly, why is that even important? You know, why is DSP important in a marine environment that is otherwise open air, uh, no soundstage? So please explain. Uh, DSP amplifiers are still, you know, something that we are developing and hoping to have available sooner than later, but takes some time. Uh, we did just uh, get our eight channel DSP in. Uh, so we have seen the six channel DSP. It's been around for the last about six or seven months. Uh, this thing has been very popular for motorcycles, side-by-sides, and marine audio as well. We just got in this guy, and let's hold, I'll hold these up here together. So this is the eight-channel version of this. So this is six channels in, six channel out. This is eight channel in, eight channel out. And uh, we'll put up a slide here that you can see the differences in the two, which is really just uh, inputs and outputs. And then the eight channel has a 31 band per octave EQ. Now the importance in marine audio, these can serve multiple functions. Uh, we do have Bluetooth streaming built into them. So you don't necessarily need a head unit to have the capability of listening to music on your boat if you have the DSP built in. The other side of that is when you're doing a boat, a lot of times you have different locations where speakers are mounted way up front. You'll have them way in the back. They might be down low or even on the sides of your, your control tower. Um, you have tower pods hanging up, things like that. And every one of those can be affected differently by their environment. So being able to do a zone tune for each set of speakers makes it very unique and very possible to get really good sound on the entire craft. So zone control is a very big deal with marine audio and being able to balance left and right, front and rear, top and bottom, all of that to make everything sound well as good as we possibly can. And if you've got kind of like a general common area where most people are gathering on the boat, you can set time delay to give that area of the boat the best sound possible. That is very interesting information. And I have a, a follow-up question for you when it comes to this. Um, is this a situation whereby it's only useful when you have more than one zone? Is it, is, it, it sounds like it's more applicable in situations like maybe a yacht or where you have a much bigger space to work with, or is this something that really all uh, marine systems uh, should adopt? When we talk about DSP in, in any uh, situation, whether it's car, boat, motorcycle, side-by-side, -side, whatever the case may be, we tell everyone we recommend DSP for everything. The reason being is it gives you a lot of control, especially when you're doing EQ and crossover settings and things like this, so that those are very accurate. With a lot of speakers, especially newer style speakers where they're very efficient marine speakers, you get these peaks on certain spots in the frequency spectrum that could have a, a less than desirable effect on the overall sound quality of the, v, of the sound system in the boat. So if you've got these hot spots that are in your, in your frequency spectrum, you can try to get those a little more under control, which would allow you to get a more overall volume out of the entire system when you're tuning the boat. Wow, Brian, thank you so much for this information. I'm going to go to Dave here, the next one. Dave, I'm going to give you an opportunity to kind of sum up everything we learned, but I can't help but notice you've got an awesome spread of product. I want to give you that opportunity to kind of go through and get the dealers who are watching to really understand how we started this segment, which is Diamond Auto is a serious contender in this category. There's a lot to offer. So, Dave, I'm going to go to you. Why don't you walk us through what you have, and I'll give you an opportunity to kind of summarize everything we learned today. Awesome, Ben. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, we have a lot of marine audio from Diamond. Uh, just about everything on the table makes Diamond unique. Uh, obviously, we have their free air subwoofer. We have their coax 6x9 subwoofer. So if you've got really low clearances at the bottom of the boat, you can get some sub bass in there. We have their F series, their flush mount series, which Brian talked about earlier, in a coax, both a 6, 8, and a 10. We also have a very unique line of speakers, the HXM series. This is a long-standing marine speaker, but they offer the only five and a quarter that I see in a lot of marine brands. Uh, obviously available in white and black RGB. Uh, they have a great head unit, the DMR3, uh, obviously Bluetooth, 
Uh, very nice screen, great presets, uh, big volume knob, which everyone looks for in a boat because they're tired of jouncing on the buttons. Uh, we've got a line of their other amplifiers as well. They're micro 8.8, so you can do eight channels of audio out of one amplifier. And then we have the big step up, which is the HXM amplifiers. And they are very unique. They're big power. They are conformal coded. They offer all the ferros and all the tools and all the stainless steel hardware you're going to need to install it because they want these put in the right way. Then we get to our towers. We get obviously a six and an eight, both white and black. And then we also have sound bars. Lots of guys aren't willing to drop all the money it takes to put audio in a boat in the old style fashion of speakers, amplifiers, and a head unit. Why not do an all-in-one combination on the tower bar in these beautiful RGB sound bars? Dave, no doubt. Again, um, we don't have the time to go through every item, but so happy that you took the time to spread it for us so you get a visual. And man, sound bars, you're absolutely right. Great opportunity for Marine, of course, crossover into power sports as well, but it's hard to deny how sexy those look. But Dave, let's wrap it up here. In your opinion, after you know having this opportunity to talk to our audience about you know all the products and all that information that Brian just shared with us. Sum it up for us. Why do you think dealers should really consider Diamond Audio as a partner within the marine audio category? You know, Ben, it really comes down to value, power, and presence. Uh, no lake will be silent ever again with Diamond Audio on the water. Um, not only do all the products look the part in the marine environment, they sound great too. They offer unique solutions and control to the audio environment on the water. And that was, of course, Dave McLean representing Dick's Performance, the distributor in Canada for Diamond Audio. And of course, a big shout out to Brian Piper, the national trainer himself from Diamond Audio as well, talking all about marine audio. I want to remind everybody, if you're interested in becoming a dealer for Diamond Audio here in Canada, you want to reach out to the team at Dick's Performance. That's, you're going to see the link below. Get a hold of them. Find out how you can become the new Diamond Audio dealer in your area. Thanks. That's it for this CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial free music. It's a great ad on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling SiriusXM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling SiriusXM for its ease of installation, great profitability and reliability. People love it.